So why weren't you at the funeral? We were worried sick. And what were you thinking? Walking out in the middle of a conversation with Ricky and that calf. You're lucky he didn't call the old bill. Oh, that was not fair. Frank's death. When you, um, when you lose somebody you love, you, you ain't yourself. You overreact and you panic. Heartbroken ain't just a word, you know. No. It's an actual physical feeling. Ricky could have done with Liam being at the funeral. He really could. Because he's... He's heartbroken. I'm sorry. Oh, it's not me. It's Ricky. Oh, he's so fragile. He needs peace and kindness. He needs calm around him right now. He don't need somebody having a drama for no good reason and making things worse. All right? Yeah. I'm sorry. Tony's just like, he's like my soulmate or whatever. I can't believe it's only four years that we've been together. Honest to God, it's like, it's like I know what he's going to say before it comes out of his mouth. But he just gets me, do you know what I mean? Hmm, I must admit, there have been times with you in the past when I thought it wouldn't. Yeah. Things change. So, uh, want to give him a call? What? What about your handbag being nicked in the tube? Oh, I can't. He's away at the moment. Oh. Yeah, that's how come, well, well, it's part of the reason why we missed the funeral. It's only temporary, but he's landed this wicked contract up in Wakefield. Wicked money and that, so I, I wouldn't want to mess it up by me calling him back. Well, what about your keys? How are you going to get back in the house? Uh, it's my problem, all right? You just, you sort yourself out, yeah? I look at you and I see that young girl with the pigtails and the attitude and a crisis around every corner. It's all right. I can sort myself out. 